What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thank you so much for the continued support. Uh, subscribing right here to Marty Music, I really appreciate it. In this lesson, I'm going to be covering what I like to call the Hendrix Major Chord, but it's so much more than just a name after a dude. It's this great little major chord concept with embellishments, and it gives you kind of that bluesy Hendrix kind of sound. It's really cool. I'm going to show it to you. So anyway, enough of that. Let's just zoom in and start getting to it. Here we go. All right, I like to call this the Hendrix major chord with its embellishments just because he used this a lot, but it's in all kinds of songs. It's not just Hendrix, but it's fun to, fun to name it after him for the concept. So let's play a C major bar chord with the root on the A string. How about that? So that's going to be this. That's a C major chord. The root... We find the chord by the root, which is the third fret of the A string. A, B, C. C note, major chord, this, this is barred across, that's barred across. So one of the notes in that chord, it's called the third, and it's this note on the B string. It's an E note. It, the third identifies a chord, uh, a chord's tonality, which means whether it's major or minor. Well, the Hendrix major chord, what it does is it takes that third, that E note, and it puts that note as the lowest note of the chord. So when you do that, when you play another note besides its root in the bass or in the lows range, you call that an inversion. So to play an E note as the root of this chord, it's right here on the seventh of the A string. So nothing changes, but we have to change our fingering. So it would be ring finger now as our lowest note of the chord. And then what was our ring finger barring, we're going to do it with our index finger, which is the fifth of the D, G, and B. So if I have ring finger here on the seventh of the A string, That is a C major chord with its third in the bass. All the same notes, just a different voicing of this one. Those are all C major chords. I want you to think of that though, because that's kind of how it, easiest way to kind of lock it in. But here's how we kind of Hendrix, Hendrix-ify the chord. Instead of just going, there's the chord, what we're going to do is we're going to add spice to it. And by doing that, we want to bar over the A string because we're going to hammer, hammer don't hurt him right there on, the, on that seventh fret of the A string. So if we bar across here and then hammer that, you get this sound. And we don't want the high E in there. And we don't want the low E in there either. So you just kind of focus on the middle strings there. Naturally, the index finger mutes the high E, but just throwing that out there. So let's use that same idea and play a G major chord with that voicing. Well, I'll speed it up for you. The G note that we're going to find is the G note right here, the 10th fret of the A string. So we play that chord right there. But we're going to play its third, which is a B note in the bass. And to do that, where the ring finger's barred, our index goes there. But then we also reach the A string because we're going to do that hammer idea. And so it's barred across the 12th fret, hammered to the 14th of the A string. So that's G major. So C major. G major. Now let's do it for D major. There's the D major bar chord. So to do the inversion of it, we'd bar the seventh, hammer the ninth of the A. So there's D major. So we have C major, G major, D major, 
And then finally, we're going to do it for A major. And we're going to do it right here. Because the open A now is our root. So if we imagine that, that means we would bar the second fret and hammer the fourth of the A for A. And what I'm doing is I'm playing the through the chords of Hey Joe. Even though he doesn't play it this way, it's just a good context because it's the um, it's the circle of fifths is what that would be called. So C to G. D to A. And then our little blues lick. Which is E. Now let's figure out where E would be for that Hendrix major chord. Well, the E bar chord that we're basing it off of is the root on the seventh fret of the A string. So we would then bar the ninth fret and hammer the eleventh for E. And the cool thing about E is you can let the open E ring out. And in another lesson, I'm going to teach it, but that's where Don't Let Me Down comes from. Same idea. So, C major to G major, which would be D major to A major, and then E chord. I'll start with that one and then move up to Lots of pull off and hammer ons, but it feels like the full major chord when the finger's down. When it's off, it has a suspended feel. But the other thing is you can do little, little trills, hammer on pull offs on the same thing that your ring finger's on the A string. You can do it on the D string and the G string, but just remember that it feels resolved when you're playing the voicing. Check it out. And the idea, I'm kind of just strumming, but I'm just trying not to, I mean, unless it's the E major chord, I'm trying to avoid the open E and I'm just not focused, not, I'm not trying to strum that high E. If it gets in there, that's fine. But you have all these little things to experiment with. Now where another Hendrix spot where he would use it, he uses it all over the prettier sounding things. But the perfect example would be E flat, E, F, like this. And he actually gets the, uh, what's called the fifth in the bass on the first one. And he does that classic inversion I taught you. So for E flat, you're barring the eighth fret. And then for E, you're barring the ninth fret. And then for F, another half step. So you get this. So it's really fun when you have, you take a couple of standard chords and you can add this concept to there as, as a, an embellish, embellishing rhythm concept, you know, uh, E major to B. on that and we'll, we'll inc incorporate it into some more lessons. Good luck. 
All right, there it was. Uh, be sure to practice that stuff. Hopefully it uh, finds its way into your playing. I know it helped me a lot, so that's what I'm trying to do here. And speaking of that, I'd love to hear from you, so feel free to uh, request songs or other lesson techniques, anything at all. You can leave it right in the comments. And like I said earlier, I really appreciate you uh, sharing this channel, sharing the videos, spreading the word. Uh, you know, I just really appreciate that continued support. And it also keeps me, mo me motivated to keep uh, bringing uh, lessons to you guys. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.